Shalom, Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Yahweh Kakodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, Bahashem, coming in the name, Ba means coming in, Ha means the, Sham means name, Raka means holy, Kodash means spirit, double honors to the elders and the apostles and the bishops of Great Millstone. Who will well and teach well because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect and shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word and truth and sincerity. And shalom to you, sincere sisters that's listening in silence as the scriptures command you to do so. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Yahweh Shai camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And pretty much in this lesson, it's going to be titled as, We Need Faith in Order to Continue. We need faith in order to continue in this truth. Okay. We need faith to continue in this truth, man. Without faith, we're not able to teach this word. We're not able to go out to the highways and byways. We're not able to prophesy. We're not able to rehearse the righteous acts, which is keeping the laws and statutes and commandments to the best of our ability. Without faith, we're not going to be able to endure through our trials and tribulations of temptations or in general, we won't be able to pray. We won't be able to have the faith of the Lord's name just with just within that, just within that, man. You know, so we need faith to continue into this truth, you know, to remain in this truth. We need faith. You know, when you first come into this truth, you're to be having faith. You know, that's the whole point of our of our pure religion. Is to have that faith, man, right? To be able to do these lessons, and and I want to get that out through the spirit before we even start this lesson. I should have got that out too, right? Get that precept out. It's a James. Yep, here it is, right here. This is James one and twenty seven. It says, "Pure religion and undefiled before the Most High and the Fathers is this." To visit the fatherless and the widows in their affliction and to keep keep himself unspotted from the world. You see that? This is that pure religion which we have. You know, we know that we Hebrew Israelites, we keep the high holy days to the best of our ability, right? We have, you know, the Sabbaths, the high holy days, etc. You know, that's our pure religion. All right, this pure religion, you know, is is this truth, you know, going out to the highways and byways, doing three videos every day or three videos throughout the week, studying to show ourselves approved. This is that pure religion. OK, so we are to have the faith, you know, and, and to endure to the end, you know, because that's what's going to save us. Faith is what's going to save us. Right. Because you got these jakes that come into this truth. They're law crazy, you know, and they when they see us, they call us faith based Israelites. Well, if that's what you want to call us. You can call us that, but, you know, just keeping the laws only, that's not going to determine your salvation. You got to mainly have a faith. Without faith, you can't last long in this truth. Romans 5 and 1. It says, therefore, being justified by faith. You see that? So we're no longer bound by the laws. You know, we're under temporal grace, but we still have to keep the laws, though, to the best of our ability. But we mainly have in the faith. All right. It says, therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with Yahweh. Through our Lord Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, because the Lord Yahweh Shai, he he he's the one that's just uh, you know sustaining with us in this thing. You know we believe in the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We have faith in that name. We have faith just being a governed body of Yahweh Shai, putting our bodies up as a living sacrifice. That takes faith to do that. You know, prophesying these scriptures. You know, breaking it down and you know going out there. That that's all takes faith to do that, man. The Lord Yahweh Bashim Ashai, we have faith and we know that he's dealing with us. All right. It says by verse two, it says, by whom also we have access by faith into into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of Yahweh Bashim Ashai. Right. Because we we we're, we're prisoners of hope. You know, we're hoping to receive salvation. We hoping to be the elect, you know, but through all the shit that we deal with on a daily basis of our lives. That's all with faith just within itself, man. It says that not only so, but we glory in tribulation also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, right? Verse four, in patience experience, it says patience 
and patience experience and experience hope. Verse 5, and hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of the Most High is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which is given into us. And you see that? And that's that's the spiritual gift of faith. Faith is a spiritual gift given by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Not every single Israelite has that gift. Every Israelite doesn't have that gift. They don't have the spiritual gift of faith. Right? John 7 and 38. This is now listen to this. He that believeth on me, as the scriptures have said, out of his belly, right? The belly meaning the mind, right? Shall flow rivers of living water. Shall flow rivers of living water. What's the living water? The scriptures, right? The washing of water by the word, Ephesians 5 and 26, and Psalms 119 and 9. How shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. So these scriptures, we have faith in the scriptures just within itself. That's why the scriptures say, he that believeth on me, as the scriptures have said. This is the Messiah speaking. It says, he that believeth on me, as the scriptures have said, out of his belly, meaning his mind, shall flow the rivers of living water. You see that? So we have, just believing in the scriptures, that's what faith within itself. We got to trust in the Lord. We got to trust in this word, man. Right? 2 Corinthians 5 and 7. For we walk by faith and not by sight. See, we walk by faith. Right. Not by sight. We don't need to see something to believe it. We're fully persuaded in our minds and confident in our in our spirit and know that the Lord is there. Know that the Lord is dealing with us, knowing that the Lord has given us these these understandings of these mysteries and parables. Right. We have faith in Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. We have faith in the name of the Lord. We have faith on a higher level in this truth in general. OK, so we don't need to see something to believe it. We have faith. We're fully persuaded in our minds. Right. Let me get that out. This is Romans 14 and 5. It says, One man esteemeth one day above another, another esteemeth every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. You have to be fully persuaded in your own mind in this thing. All right. And the Lord got to be dealing with you to, 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 to receive that, to understand that. You have to be fully persuaded in your own mind in this truth. Otherwise, than that, you won't sustain. You have to have faith. Because how are you going to be able to go out on the highways and byways? How are you going to do three videos throughout the week or every day? You know, how are you going to be able to, to study to show yourself approved? How are you going to be able to pray without ceasing? You know, all of these things we rehearse the righteous. That's, that all takes faith, knowing that you're an Israelite. That all takes, that's all faith there. We have faith, right? Ephesians 2 and 8, it says, For by grace are ye saved through faith. You see that? And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of Yahweh. Faith is the spiritual gift given by the Heavenly Father Yahweh. Not every single Hebrew is like has faith. You got a lot of these guys, that's law crazy. And that's what's going to cause their judgment because they're they're too busy being abound by the laws. And we're, we're no longer abound by the laws, you know. I'm not saying not to keep them because we have to keep the laws. But we're justified by faith. Faith is what's going to save us. We already broke the old covenant already. You see that? So now we're under a temporal grace period and we have faith to be able to get us through, man. So we can get that second chance. We got that second chance through Yahweh Shai putting his body up as a living sacrifice as that lamb. So now he gave us that second chance. So now we're, we're enduring in these times. Now Esau's rulership, we're enduring through these trials, tribulations, this gospel, this truth, all with faith. That's all we have. Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. You see that? We're prisoners of hope. We hope for it to be the elect. We hope for it to, to, to remain in the truth. We hope for a lot of things. We hope to sustain and endure, right? We we, we hope for it to, to increase in learning and it's truth. We, we, we hope for the Lord doesn't take the spirit from us. There's a lot of things we hope for in this truth. It says the evidence of things not seen, the evidence of things not seen, right? So, you know, we hope for a lot of things in this truth. We're hoping to be delivered. We're hoping for America to be destroyed. We're hoping to be beamed up. On those chariots, which those things, they've been seen, but it ain't fully, the prophecies ain't coming to pass yet, right? We're hoping for a lot. You know, we're prisoners of hope. We're mainly hoping to receive salvation and to be of that elect. Hebrews 11, 6, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. Impossible to please who? Yahweh Bashim Yahashai, because you have to have faith. It says, for he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is. You see that? You have to believe in this thing. You got to have faith. It says, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And how are you going to seek the Lord? Through his prophets. And how are you going to do that? You're going to do that with faith. Faith is what's going to have you to, you know, sustain in this thing. Increase in learning, all of that. That's all with faith, man. 
Romans 10 to 17. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of the Lord. See, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of the Lord. That's what all, that's what faith, man. We have to, we have to have faith. You won't make it in this truth without faith, man. Just keeping laws and wearing fringe t-shirts and wearing full covered head metries. That's not going to determine your salvation. There's more to that. It's way more than that, man. It's way more than just rocking fringes, right? Matthew 21, 22. And this is Yahweh Shai speaking. In all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive, right? So you got to have the faith. For your prayers to be answered, you got to have the faith. For you to, to, to grow in this truth, you got to pray to the Lord. You got to do that with faith. Everything that you uh, uh, want for the Lord to do with you spiritually and, and you know, just praying for other brothers in this thing, etc. That's all with faith. Going out to the highways and byways and all these things that we do, that takes faith to do that. You're not going to just be able to just go out there and just go out there and just do it. No, you got to have faith. All of that takes faith to do all that, man. All right, you got to have faith, man. So, hey, a little willingness lesson was edifying. Just wanted to do a little quick hit on this. On to the next one. Shalom.